Alright. Hey everyone! Oh, look at my studio, it's a mess. Paper rolls everywhere. So we're talking, I'm so bright! Uh, we're talking about uh, Year of the Paper Bear. Uh, Bernie Zhang, Bernie Zhang's book. Uh, love the photo, what a cool illustration. Hey, hello, really long name, Teen Swan No One. Love it. Uh, so I'm talking about this book. I just finished this book. I actually just interviewed her as well. So my name's Sean Howard. Uh, who am I? That's who I am. I'm a writer, a podcaster, an artist, a photographer. Ah! Uh, so I interviewed uh, Bernie Shong for my podcast. And I read her book. And it's freaking amazing. So I'm going to give you a couple, drop a couple quotes for you guys from the book. Whoever's here, if you're here, give a shout out. Say hi. Let me know where you're from. Who do we got? Oh, it's probably just web viewers. All you web viewers. Get an app! All right, here we go. What do I got? Let's see what we got for Bernie Shong. I love this book. She deals so beautifully with the idea of shame and the voices we all hear inside of us. We all have these voices tell, holding us back, stopping us, and the, the courage. Bernie, your courage, amazing. God, I love you. Um, so, let's read some quotes. Stop waiting to be chosen. Oh, I love it. She devotes a whole section to this idea that, that it's not us against the world. It's, it's not everyone conspiring against us. It's like we, we, it's us. We are holding ourselves back. Oh, love it. Um, here's a great one. It's easy to look back in the rear view mirror of regret. It's just as tempting to look too far ahead into the horizon. I love that. Ah, oh, hey, who joined? Give a shout if you're not on the web. If you're on the web, go get the app. Dear Lord. Uh, so we are reviewing The Year of the Brave Bear. My name's Sean Howard. I'm a podcaster, a photographer, a writer, an artist, etc., etc. I interviewed Bernie. That was so awesome. She's going to be appearing soon. Uh, if you're joining, give a shout. If you can, let me know where you're listening from. Any questions you might have. Loved this book. What quote did I just read? Oh, yeah. It's easy to look back in the rear view mirror of regret. It's just as tempting to look too far ahead into the horizon. Hey, cutie. Oh, it's Amy again. Hi, Amy. I'm talking about a book. The book's cute, too. Look, it's a bear with a cute girl. It's so cute. Okay. What are you up to? Oh, I'm reading about a book. I'm reading quotes from this book. I interviewed Bernie. Bernie Shong. Amazing book. I uh, loved this book. So much courage. And that was one of the coolest parts. I asked Bernie. I asked Bernie, is that rude? Can we probably later? Um, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> um, I asked Bernie about the, you know, where does her courage come from? And I loved her answer and it's in the book. Thank you, Amy. That is very sweet. Um, I asked her in the book, where does her courage come from? And she says, practice, practice, practice. I love that. I love that. I love the idea that we have to practice courage. Oh, this book was so awesome. And she talks about being of service and how when we choose to be of service, all of our doubt goes away. All of our fear goes away. And she wrote, what'd she say? Your desire to make a difference far supersedes your fear of failure because there was no one left to disappoint or seek approval from. Frig. <laughs> I've already followed you, Amy. I'm, you're, you're totally followed. Um, love that quote. Love it. All right, where's some of my favorite quotes? Oh, she, she has the quote from the... Blah, 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 blah. She has the quote from Ray Goforth. There are two types of people who will tell you that you cannot make a difference in the world. Those who are afraid to try themselves and those who are afraid that you will succeed. Is that not true? Is that not true? Hey, Cat! Hi, Cat! Hey, everyone. The real Cat Burns just joined. One of the most awesome periscopers on the planet who's giving me pointers on my very first point, my very first periscope. Hey, Cat! And the most awesome awesome musician in the world so check it out kashka check it out um i think i had a, yeah i had a music on my podcast it was totally cool hey cat i'm talking about this book bernie shong's book the year of the private bear 
friggin' amazing. Unbelievable book. I'm reading quotes. A couple quotes from the book that I loved. Um, her courage. Her courage is so awesome. You know, she just how she deals with and shares the darkness of her story and all the voices she had in her head and tries to reframe them. All right, let's see. Oh, I love this one. Here we go. Let me know, Kat, if this has ever applied to you. How many times have you done that? Comparing your current self to your old self. Wishing you had started being smarter sooner. And then comparing your current self to the self you would like to be. And freaking out because you're still not good enough. God, that's like me. It's me to a T. Constantly comparing myself. Hey, Eric. Welcome, Mr. E. Portolones, Halo Brewery. Um, anyone else listening in Toronto, you're about to be able to get soon, hopefully, the best beer in the world right here. So anyways, uh, Eric, we're talking about... Deuce. Are you getting naked in this one? Sorry, Eric, I am not getting naked in this one. Maybe for you at the end, I'll get naked. But look, we're, we're doing this book. The Year of the... <laughs> Is that a frowny? C careful, Eric, you're going to have to redo your entire image. Everyone's going to think the wrong thing about you here. Um, the Year of the... What is this? The Year of the Brave Bear by Bernie Shaw. I'm um, just reviewing that book. Oh, thank you for the hearts, guys. Um, loved this book. So many quotes in it. It's a really fast read. You can get it on Amazon. It's not that expensive. Um, I just interviewed Bernie to appear on my podcast, and it was kick-ass. Um, all right, so here's one I think we can all that are on now can relate to. Five years ago, I nearly lost the will to live. Good thing I realized there were other options available to me outside of a corporate sales job and penthouse living or death. Yes! I think a lot of us have had that realization, huh? Love that. Corporate sales job, penthouse living, or death. Man. This book, when she talks about how it was easier for her to break up her marriage and divorce long marriage, like she got married when she was 16, than it was to quit her job. How, how effed up is that? We put so much pressure on our work, on our job, our identity. Hey, Amy's back. Hey, I think uh, Amy and Eric, you'll, you'll be glad. I think Amy would also like to see me naked. So, you know, get two votes going there. Don't put that much pressure on you. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Um... Yeah, no, it's good not to put too much pressure on it. But we all have the voice. That's what I love about these books. Books like, book like, you know, Bernie Shong's book is... Bernie Shong's book. <laughs> that's what I love about this book. Uh, oh, that's Eric. Eric wants to uh, wants me to get naked in this video, Amy. Um, Mr. E. Portolans, the my old co-host from our... Where is he? He's in Toronto. He's uh, my old co-host from uh, Attention Surplus, my old podcast. Here. <laughs> but you can listen to my new podcast, Taking the Leap, and you're going to hear Bernie Shong coming up probably in many months because I have so many of these. Aw, Kat. Aw. I missed the show too. Thank you, Kat. Thank you very much. I tried to get Eric to start a new show with me, but he wouldn't do it. So I had to go to Jasmine, my backup plan. Actually, she wasn't the backup plan. I just It hit me one day. I should do it with Jasmine too. Too busy stressing out. <laughs> oh, you guys rock. All right, Eric, no naked today, sorry. But I will do naked in a stream again soon, just for you, dude. All right, that's it for me. Go read the book. Uh, Bernie Shong, uh, The Year... Oh, God, I forgot the title. How can I forget the title of the book I'm reviewing? I am no good at this. The Year of the Brave Bear. Eric's naked, actually. Uh, all right, Eric, you got to do the next uh, Periscope. It's your turn, dude. Let's go. I want to see your periscope. It's all you. See you guys. Thanks for joining.